So I've been called many things in the last couple of weeks by a, min by a minority of people. Uh, I've been called an FF15 hater. Uh, that was mostly because I actually critiqued the game. I actually gave some genuine, honest feedback. I didn't just come away with my Final Fantasy channel. I didn't come away from 15, just go, blah, 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 it's amazing, it's best game ever, perfect, 10 out of 10. Blah, blah, blah. I did just blow sunshine and roses up its ass. I came out and I gave an honest critique. I love the game, but here are the issues. You guys know them. Uh, but that's qualified me as an F15 hater who needs to fuck off in the eyes of some people. Um, <laughs> I think I've been the most open and honest and fair. Uh, for 15 and then on the flip side uh, because I've been open and honest fair I said I love it I love 15 I enjoy the game I've been called an FF15 fanboy you're a fanboy you're blind peasant you're, you're trying to make it seem better than it is and one of the things I got accused of uh, making it sound better than it was was in the sales so I had this quite a lot um, and I, I've had back and forth debates on this so when we got the 5 million in 24 hours I came and said yep that's it in the bag nope Peasant, don't jump the gun. You are jumping the gun. That's shipped versus not sold. And even today, even to this very day, a couple of hours ago, the shipped versus sold debate is still going. Stop reporting the dirty numbers, Square. Dirty. They're calling them dirty numbers. Dirty numbers, trying to lie to us, not giving us the full accurate picture. It's shipped, not sold. <laughs> Brain farting all over the internet. And it is brain fighting because I've, I've said why it's completely irrelevant. A sale is a sale and no game developer has ever in the history of ever gone out in the first week to every single retailer and outlet and asked them for a timely accurate report of how many are sat on their shelf and how many they actually sold off the counter. It's never happened. It never will happen. So there's no fucking point in making the argument about it. Um, but there was some validity there. Which, you know, it's possible that they could have solved 5 million V uh, optimistically in 24 hours. And they sat on the shelf and they didn't go nowhere. It'd still be a, a sell for Square, but it's possible they could have sat there. It's, it's wholly possible. But then we had this. I think it was two weeks ago. It's now hit 6 million sales. So that means that the retailers have purchased an extra 1 million units. Or an extra 1 million have gone out the door. Um, now, retailers don't do that. Uh, I mean, some of that could be digital, of course, still, but some of that will be retailers. Uh, retailers don't buy extra stock if there's two, three million waves of stocks out on the shelf. They just don't do it. So I said, OK, look at this, guys. How about this? Does this validate all of the accolades that 15 is getting? Because it is getting them. It's now the fastest selling product on Wikipedia for the PS4. Um, I've already said for a long time it's going to be the best selling Final Fantasy ever. It's going to trump all of them. It's going to trump 7. No, it doesn't. You're wrong. You're wrong. I hate 15. I hate 7. So it must be wrong. Oh, I don't want to believe it. Well, you've got to believe it. You've got to believe it now because... And people were still not believing me then, but now we've got this. So this wraps up the argument nice and tastily. NPD reveals that Final Fantasy XV had the best launch of the entire franchise. Oh, but that's just the launch, peasant. It doesn't mean it's going to continue to do well throughout the rest of the year. Okay, let's get into it. So NPD, for anyone who doesn't know, they're a huge, about one of the biggest uh, market research companies. So about as... Um, about as solid a report as we can get on this. Uh, so the MPD group released today its report on the software sold in December 2016 in North America. So this is just North America. Bear that in mind. We've, all, we've had the Japanese ones. We've had all the Japan ones only. We've had the North America ones now. Revealing that FF15 had the best launch in the history of the long running franchise. Square Enix product improves on the physical sales of the previous main entry by 19%. So one of the huge arguments was that Final Fantasy 15 is doing very poorly physically. Physically, it's selling really badly. And that could be true. And even if it was selling badly physically, this is what doesn't make sense. Um, people are arguing if it's selling bad physically, then their argument that ship versus sold is more appropriate. It's back to front, guys. So you've got some people trying to say it's shipped, not sold. And then in the same breath, they're trying to argue it's selling bad physically. Well, if it's selling bad physically, no, the 5 million, not many of those are physical sales. Then that means that the rest of the digital, which then means that the shipped versus sold <laughs> concept 
isn't a factor or as big a factor. So this is a, this is a real fucking contradiction. Make up your mind, haters. Make up your damn mind. But this this came from Japan. The whole physical is doing bad. It came from Japan because Japan, uh, in FF13, they had sold about 1.6 million, 1.5 million units. Uh, and FF15 had only sold 690,000 physical units, which is notoriously low. Even FF fucking 2 managed to get 720,000 sales. So a lot of people were laughing at that. See, FF15 has flopped. It can't even be FF2. It's actually one of the worst selling physical Final Fantasies. And I said, guys, no, it's not. That's just Japan. There's, there's almost no point in looking in the Japan statistics anymore. Their console game is so weak right now, that, and their the console market is so bad over there, there's no point in looking at it. I mean, they have so few PS4s, and even the PS4s they do have, uh, one in five, one in every five PS4 in Japan has FF15 installed on it at this point. That's phenomenal. But now we have it that in North America, the uh, physical sales are up 19%. So it quashes that one a little bit. Uh, but now we have, and the total revenue in dollars, including digital sales compared to any other Final Fantasy in history, is up 54%. Oh, 54%, that's incredible. Now there's more statistics for you. Uh, this was enough to make the title, FF15, the second best selling game of the month. And with a heavy heart, I say that it lost to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Um, <laughs> COD fans, what are you doing? You said that Infinite Warfare was shit. I thought you were going to hijack it. I thought you were organising none of us buy this because otherwise you know, we'll give them an idea that this is what we want. What happened, guys? What happened to your Call of Duty revolution? You guys still went out and bought it. Uh, but to my understanding, Infinite Warfare did shit compared to it. I mean, we, we was never going to beat COD. COD is just too much of a giant. So there it is. Um, but it is actually, Final Fantasy XV is actually the top selling title for the PS4. Damn. That's crazy. So the game also performed well on Xbox One, being the best third selling uh, best the third best selling title. Now, that's just in North America. Now that's not really much to gloat at for the Xbox, to be honest with you. That is still not that great. It's okay. It's better than Japan. Um but I made the mick it, I took the piss out of Xbox fans when I did that video that only 1% of the Japanese market had been bought, uh, bought 15 on the Xbox. And I got all that hate from the Xbox fans. Peasant, stop feeding the console wars. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I was feeding it a bit. But it was a joke. It was a joke. It was just for humour and comedy purposes. No need to get fucking triggered. But even if we look here, still third best selling. It's not amazing. Xbox, we all know, is never going to be doing as well. It, even close to the PlayStation. Um, is it enough to actually take note of? I was kind of saying, you know, Xbox is so insignificant in sales. There's no point in even taking note of it. I think I was exaggerating there. I think, yeah, you can't ignore the Xbox sales. It is still a factor, so I will track that statement in the fullest. I'm sorry, Xbox fans, but <laughs> continue on. Uh, it is a very interesting performance on the Microsoft platform, considering that Japanese role-playing games don't have a strong record there, to say the least. So what they're saying is it actually did do pretty well, considering. Considering. Yeah, considering it's usually done historically bad. Um, it's done a bit better than we thought. So the game was also able to reach top 10 of the best-selling games of the year with its first five months of sales alone. Now this is NPD saying this. NPD. It is now the top 10 best-selling game of the year just with the first five months sale. So if we factor on the other fucking hell, uh, seven months. <laughs> Oh god, I almost forgot how many months were in a bloody year then. Uh, so yeah, it could really get close to that top three best selling games of the year. We'll see uh, what numbers come in as. And uh, now this is a crucial achievement for the project led by my boy Tabby. Tap, tap. Since it solidifies his personal triumph at completing what is known as one of the most tumultuous games in development history. Round of applause, Tabta. He did do a great job. But there's some other stuff here, uh, Versus Dirtying, Kingdom Hearts, Nomura, Swatch Pover, da da da. Ah! Aha! It also serves to ease the concern about the game's underperformance in the Japanese markets, where first week sales could reach barely reach half the numbers of 13. 
There it is, guys. I hadn't even read that line before now. So the fact I just said that this article counters the whole uh, look how bad it's done physically in Japan. Boom. There we go. It, it, it's confirmed, guys. Final Fantasy 15, no matter what way you fucking talk it up, if you hated 15 and you're trying to find a way to skew the numbers or try to say it's shipped versus sold, or no, there's too much evidence out now at this point. Okay, there was really when 5 million in 24 hours. That is just, I mean, no matter what, that was going to come through as a phenomenal figure. So it's just over, guys. The debate's over. This is up 54% in North America. There ain't no beat in that. In Japan, on the digital, it's breaking digital download records. This will categorically be the best Final Fantasy ever sold. Now, uh, do I want that? Uh, I, I've already done my top five, and I said that FF15 isn't on it just yet. It'll only make it if the DLC games are good. So I'm not being a fanboy here, guys. Right now, as it stands, even if they did no more DLC, honestly and openly love 15, but it wouldn't even make my top five at the moment. Okay, because there wasn't enough story. I'm a story junkie. So, <laughs> there are some of you who like the gameplay, etc. I'm the story junkie. So, until that comes in, I'm not even placing it in my top five. Now, I hope it makes its position when the DLC comes out. But that's just where it is, guys. So I'm not some overhyped FF15 fan. I'm just reporting the facts. And I'm stating it. And then rounding out, here we have best-selling games in December. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy 15. Uh, follow. Oh, it beat Battlefield 1. Holy shit. It beat Battlefield 1. Wowzer. It beat Madden. It beat NBA. Watch Dogs 2. Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, well, that's that's old, so that's still selling. Selling more. Um, Pokemon Sun, FIFA 17, Pokemon Moon. There we go. That's the order, guys. So I thought I'd announce that. I hope it all puts it to bed um, and really gives you some sort of idea on how 15 has done as a game. Uh, yep, it's done the best in the franchise. And uh, yeah, I did see a video the other day. I'll quickly talk about this. Uh, there was a video the other day talking about the concerns of 15. Um, so the fact that they had to push the game out much earlier than they wanted. Um, there could have been a fear in me that by them doing that, they would think, oh, we'll just do that in the future. So say with FF16, let's say they get to a certain stage with it, uh, where they hit the 25 hour mark um, in content. And they could either spend the next 7 to 10 months pushing more content out on top of that. Or they could think back to 15 and go, well, you know what? In 15, it worked. In 15, it only had the 20 hour mainline story. And that was the best selling Final Fantasy ever. That was a huge financial success for us. Let's just do that again. And it might disincentivize Square Enix from spending that extra time, resource, and energy in putting in the extra story and cutscenes above it. You get what I'm trying to say, guys. I would have had that fear if we didn't know that Tabata is now coming out as Square Enix and they're coming out with these strong DLCs and these free cutscenes. That's the thing, guys. They're improving the game and spending money and resources on free cutscenes. And really, that's just for fan satisfaction. And considering the fans are pretty satisfied at about an 8 out of 10, give it or take it. I mean, 8 out of 10 is not bad. Most importantly, it sold the best. They're 54% up in revenue. They break a digital download records. They could, at this point, just go, yep, Final Fantasy 15 done, made our money, whoop, 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 party and hookers, but they're not. They're coming out and they're giving us more. So that gives me a bit of confidence that this won't disincentivize them to make more games uh, like 15 or give them far more trimmed down storylines. If you get what I mean, so go to the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this result. How do you feel about it? Just go in. Just go type something. I don't care what it is. Just <laughs> go, let's start a conversation. Until the next video. Kupo.